Welcome back to your weekly episode of the Starting Five Podcast. For today, it's only Jake, Austin, and your host, myself, Caesar. Austin, <laughs> what's up with this? What's up with this fit? Why'd you have to come out all, you know, pimping and cute and everything? What's up with you, bro? Hey, I'm on my Joe Burrow vibes today. You know, Joey franchise, Joseph Lee Burrow, you feel me? Why, though? What, it, what? The best quarterback in the AFC North, you feel me? Hey. Really? Hey. Nah. Hey. I said it. Yeah. I, I mean oh. it. Okay. Hey. hey. I well, guess if hey. Austin says it's legit, right? Hey, we just, like, hey, hey, just like you said, the Broncos are Super Bowl contenders. Oh, oh, moms. Hey, don't uh. sleep on the Broncos. They just beat the Cowboys. No. Three weeks ago, Whoa. relax. Hey, and the Chargers. Oh. Not worried. Hey. Hey, them, that defense ain't, hey, they're not playing. They're not playing. Hey, Who's, I must say, though, that jersey is looking nice. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, hey, it looks all right. They do got the best. Hey, Bengals do got the best jersey in, in the league. Hey, a little extra with the sunglasses. Hey, but still hey, not better than that hey, number four, though. I like the energy, though. though. I like the Here, energy. I'll get back into Austin. Yeah, bro, come on. Hey, bro. still not better than that number four, though. All that matters. Huh? What'd you say? I'm so sorry. Caesar. I'm so sorry. Once I was again, in a conversation Caesar, with him, bro. My bad. Still not better than that number four. Oh. Down in Texas, baby. All right, cool. Arguable. <laughs> not yet. No, he's not better than me yet. But, hey, we'll get there one day. They'll get there one day? Do you actually think they'll get there one day, or is it just a fluke? That's a fluke, folks. Nah, you don't think Burrow will be better than Prescott? Never. Damn. Hey, I don't know. All Dak, right. Dak, Dak attacked they both, one of the hey, best hey, quarterbacks Dak had a good start to his, Dak, Dak had a good start to his career, too. I'll, I'll give him that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but, hey, we'll see. But I want to get right into it, which is, for the first topic, is, are the Cowboys a fluke? Jake? Hey, I want to ask you, because, bro, two-game losing streak to the Chiefs and Raiders. Listen. What you got to say, bro? What's your reaction to that? Listen, yes. Our past four games, we lost three out of the four. I understand yeah. that. Mid-season rough stretch we just had. Yeah. But, you know, that's what champion teams do. I mean, they, <laughs> they, they, they find a rough patch, and they kick it in gear. Hey, come again? Champion teams? Hey, I'm just saying, bro. Cowboys. Okay. I'm not worried about them, bro. We'll You're not be worried? straight. We'll be straight. I mean, to be fair... We could we could have beaten the Chiefs, um, Dakota. But y'all didn't though. D- Dakota Prescott had a bad game. I mean, it's okay though because all great quarterbacks have bad games once in a while. Um, he's not great though. He is definitely great. He's, he's anyways. What I was best. saying, uh, we led. The Patrick Patrick Mahomes only scored nineteen points at Kansas City, mm-hmm. um, and and to be fair, Chiefs and Buccaneers were in Super Bowl last year, and the both teams, we let them allow twelve points. Mm-hmm. So I'm not worried about that. And then the loss against the Raiders, that's just a penalty fest. I mean, we had 12 penalties for 165 yards. Yeah, I know. 165 yards, bro. And the Raiders had 10 for 100 yards. Yeah. So, I mean, the Cowboys team is the most – the Cowboys are the most penalized team in the NFL. Um, if we take the penalties – Y'all suck. Relax. If we take the penalties back and, like, we'll be good – but at the game, at the same time, too, those zebras be coming after us, man. I swear to God, they do. The zebras? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm, I've not heard Russ be called no zebras way. before. Really? No way. No, I've, no, never, I've never, heard never heard that. I see it all the time, bro. <laughs> That's actually funny, though. <laughs> <laughs> no way he called um, them the zebras. And it right, just gonna, it also, it's going to light under, under a fire under Dak because Dak knows he's not playing well. So it's yeah. just going to give him motivation to, to do better for himself and for his team. All right, because he knows where he wants to be, and he knows what the Cowboys want to do, and we want to win. What do you think, Austin? All right, here, I here, here, here I go, here I go. All right, all right. So the Cowboys, listen, they're good, they're good, they're on the right path. But this team is either a wild card or or a divisional round exit. They're not going to the conference championship. They're not making it to the damn Super Bowl this year. I'm sorry, their defense is not good enough. Their injuries have killed them all year, and their schedule is heavily inflated. Their best win is against the Patriots. I'll give them that. But besides that. What winner are we giving and, them? And, bro. I mean, okay. I, I, I see where you're understand. I completely understand you 100%, right? But our defense is good. Okay. It's oh, hold on. Stop. Hold on. Wait. They're not a Super Bowl defense, I though. mean, could be. Anyways, our defense is hel- unhealthy, but we're, we're, we're getting healthy again. Marcus Lawrence is playing Thursday. You're not getting healthy. Your coach is out. For COVID, I, he's not so good. I don't like him anyway. Yeah, so Hold you on, can't relax. Win a Super Bowl. You don't even the have Marcus, a good coach. We have Dan Quinn as our interim head coach, and he took the Falcons to the Super Bowl. But anyways, after that, what do you do? I mean, he fumbled the bag in the I Super mean, Bowl. I mean, he too. did, but he still took the team to the Super Bowl. Dude, your anyways, claims are not making sense. Anyways, so the Marcus Lawrence is coming back Thursday. Yeah, that that's a huge. That piece. will help. Yes, Randy Gregory is coming back next he's week. A beast, yeah, and Neville uh, Neville uh, Gattamore is coming okay. back as well from an elbow injury. Okay. And all throw 
all of those three pieces are crucial to our defense. I agree. Mm. And I, then, oh, sorry for interrupting. You're good. And then you have Amari Cooper. This is your team. <laughs> you have Amari Cooper coming back from COVID. All okay. right. He was out for two games. Do you have CD Lamb coming back from a concussion? We're fine. All, our only bad part right now is Zeke with his knee. If, if we somehow, some way to find him to get him healthy, mm-hmm. we'll be straight. All right. What's your What's your last game stretch like? What are your upcoming games? Do you know by any chance? I have them. Well, actually, we have the Saints. You, ha- you have it, Austin? Yeah, we have the Saints, oh, Cardinals. Okay. Um, Saints, Saints, Washington football team. Wait, is this the Saints, Washington football team, Giants, Washington football team, Cardinals, and Eagles? Yeah. That's the ending. We played a football team twice. Hey, and that fo- the football team, they're hot. They are hot. You got to watch out for them. Dude, they, they, just, they could win the division. They, they could no. win it. Yes. They could win their division. <laughs> Hey, I'm don't they you guys are acting crazy. They won it they won it last year. I, I mean, think yes, they could I win one game, but I don't think they win two to beat the to beat the I don't I think they can beat the Cowboys once, but I don't think they can beat them twice to yeah, win the division. They're definitely not going to come at the, the rest of their stadium. schedule. Nope. The Washington football team plays the Raiders. I think they can win that. They play the Cowboys at Washington. I think they get that one. Okay, then they, they play, play the Eagles. They're winning that one. They play the Cowboys at Dallas. I'll give up the Cowboys that one. They play the Eagles again. That's a win. They play the Giants. That's a win. Their schedule favors them a lot going into the rest of the season, and their offense is clicking. Yeah, but let's say, okay, let's say this. The the Cowboys lose to the Redskins, to the Washington football team in Washington, right? But they went out. They're st- technically still number one in the division. Yeah. The, the, the only way the Washington can win the division is if they go 2-0 and against the Cowboys, which I don't think is possible. So Not you, at AT&T. So you think, you think the Cowboys are going to win out? Dak hasn't lost the Washington football team. Um, hey, he hasn't played that Taylor Heineke yet. Hey, that, that boy's a gamer. That's hey, crazy. That game coming from the dude last who last says the Broncos are Monday good. Night football, dude. I'm telling you, Washington's a nice team, and I got 20 on them to win the division. Still, hey, we don't act like we didn't forget uh, that. Uh, hey, they're, yeah. slowly, they're slowly creeping up too. I'm, dude. I'm getting a free twenty dollars. It, really, it really victory. doesn't matter. I still am. You still are. Okay. Yeah. Okay, listen, Washington football team. You're hearing it first. They will make a wild card. Their offense is clicking. Taylor Heineke's playing. See, he's not even that confident. <laughs> he said, "Hear me here for they'll make the wild card." Where's the they're going to win a division confidence at. Okay, they can win the division. I can see it. But he said, no, he, said he could, but I, he didn't they say could, outright. Yeah, they could he win the division. I can card. see him in the wild card, though. I really can. Come that, on, that offense is clicking. Hey, Gibson. Hey, Terry. Scary Terry. Okay. Heineke. They're, yes, hey. they're good, but they Logan can't Thomas. be my Cowboys, bro. Ugh, I don't know. Hey, that defense, their defense is legit, too. You let too. the struggling Chiefs beat you. And then you let the struggling Raiders beat hey, you. I wouldn't say the oh, Chiefs. Time out. Let's not forget that when we played the Chiefs, they were on a three-game win streak. And two, they still have the baby go, Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, the Chiefs are not struggling right, anymore. Cool. That narrative's gone. Their nah. Chiefs are, the Chiefs have found it. They're still missing the playoffs. Watch, bro. Bro, the Chiefs, Chiefs are not. Are what? Just, just Chiefs are, no, dude, they're about to win their division. No. Dude, dude final way you're to tri- you're I don't know how to even look at their division. I'm just talking shit, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, what are your facts? Yeah. The Chiefs are going to win their division. Nah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I can get if I could say that you guys are a fluke right now or not. You guys are definitely leaning towards it. I think. I mean, with every, I see what oh. I see where you guys are coming from. I completely do because yeah. recently in the past four games we have been playing like we're not a playoff co- contention team at all. One hundred percent, I understand. Yeah, but what, what I'm trying to get you guys to realize is our team's not healthy. Okay, okay, I get that, but un, you see the Arizona Cardinals; they're not healthy. They're still the top team. Green Bay Packers; they were dealing with injuries. Teams deal with injuries, but the great teams are going to find a way to win. Yeah, we're dealing with injuries, and look, we're in playoff contention now. What's up? Yeah, oh, What's we're, up? we're gonna find, bro. We're we're gonna find ways to win, bro. What's up? You. you guys haven't been finding ways to win. You're okay. on a losing streak. <laughs> yeah, my bad, bro. It happened. Three game, by the way. You guys lost to three. The, you, you guys okay. won a two game okay. losing streak okay. too. Okay, okay. but you the difference between us yeah. is we're not we're not planning for the Super Bowl. Caesars over here hype you guys up. Oh yeah, bro, they're going to hey, the Super Bowl. Though. We could. Do you think and I jinxed them? Do you think <laughs> Do you think the Cowboys are gonna make the Super Bowl this year? Realistically. Probably not, but we have a high chance. Okay. No. no. A team fully healthy, yes. Bro, you Bro's even said it yourself last first week. week. Okay, dude. Week one with our team so healthy. Week, week, week one. Have dude, a chance. Week one. This one. Yes, teams are, are completely team different. Fully healthy, this is bro. week 13. Teams are completely different. You guys aren't better than the Packers. You guys aren't better than the Cardinals. You guys bro. are better than the Buccaneers. I'm sorry. You're not better than the Niners either, bro. Uh, Austin, I wouldn't go that far. Austin, you no, literally said you, week one, when our team was fully healthy, fully healthy, no scratch at all, you said you guys have the chance to make the Super Bowl. What's the difference now? Because we've seen 12 weeks of football. And yeah. I've seen your coaches is inconsistent. Your injuries, you're I, dealing with injuries. Uh, I'll give you that. Your defense. Okay, your defense. injuries, I'm saying when we're fully healthy, bro, take injuries out the water. Nah, injuries count. 
It's the regular season, bro. You're, you're about te- to be your fully next, healthy. How do you know you're going to be fully healthy? You guys haven't been able to be fully exactly. healthy all season. Exactly. So all of a sudden, they're going to be fully healthy for the playoffs? I no. said we're about to be fully healthy. We have you a chance to be fully healthy. You just said Zeke's dealing with a knee injury. You got Gre- Gregory. We don't know if he's They're all come. coming back. Yeah, they're all coming back. But the, you know it's the NFL. They can easily In- go back out again. Injuries rehappen like this. Dalvin Cook just got hurt. Uh, exactly. CMC's done for the season. Like Injuries pop back up. Yeah, yeah bro. Hey, CMC, up, he's a fluke. How is he? Okay? That, he not CMC is going to be the biggest like like one of the biggest what ifs like in history like yeah I'm like, sorry he could have been okay, great hey we're getting off topic but my yeah, fault he really could have been great he gets hurt every three times a year yeah but every hey year. it's not his fault Anyways. so you see a conference championship finish for the Cowboys is that what you're saying yeah I, I could see it wait where conference championship I don't know if I can give him that yet I okay, I need to see you guys against a legit team like but you guys don't Arizona? play a legit team so when you guys play the Arizona it'll really show. What what kind of team this is? Yeah, because the only will le- be Arizona. The only legit team you guys really have played is the Patriots. You guys are not being Arizona. I no, I really do not see that. You want to bet right now? Let's bet. Hey, ten. Hey, <laughs> see you saw here on the podcast. First. Come on, birds. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. But hey, moving on to my team to a three game winning streak. The last three have been the Rams ass whooping, the Jaguars ass whooping. And a tough game against the Vikings. To keep in mind, the la- the Rams and the Jaguars were a 30 to 10 game. Us 30 points and them 10 points. I'm going to ask you guys, because you know I'm biased as hell. Can the Niners actually make a playoff run? Or this is just a fluke, this this streak? Okay. Uh, up, You're asking me first, right? You're looking yeah, at me. Yeah, yeah, okay. go ahead. Okay, okay. So the 49ers, the thing about the 49ers is like the Cowboys, but worse than the Cowboys is their health. Ouch, ouch. You know, I know, everybody who watches football know the 49ers can't stay damn healthy. Yeah. Like now, Debo Samuel's out two weeks. Yeah. So if the Cowboys... Two, calm down. If the it's Cowboys can miraculously stay healthy and Debo Samuel, if if you guys can find a way to win this game, this who do you guys play this Sunday? The Seahawks. I that think Seahawks. I think I don't struggle like, with Seahawks team. You, you guys have to Debo's win these games. Out. That's yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Team. The thing that you guys have going for you is the NFC wild card is really weak. So mm-hmm. I say, like, I think the Washington football team can make it in, and then probably the only other team that can make it in besides y'all is the Vikings. So y'all but, and they just beat the Vikings. Yeah, yeah. It's so all a matter of winning. You have out. to be. You have to win more than the Vikings and Washington football team because you guys, the Rams are, are going to be locked in. The Rams, the Rams. I think they'll find a way to get it locked in and make the wild card. They're not winning their division, obviously, but I think they can make the wild card. So if you guys can figure a way out. I can see you guys in the wild card, and then what you guys will do in the playoffs, you might be able to win that first round, but just like the Cowboys, you'll probably be a division round exit. There ain't no damn way you guys make the conference championship. I have more confidence in the Cowboys making the conference championship than the 49ers. <laughs> That's an L take. That's an right. L take. Here's my thing is, all right, go um, ahead. you know how every year, no matter what sport it is, football, basketball, baseball, blah, 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 you always have a team that barely makes the playoffs, but they make a run. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like for example, I'm a I'm gonna throw baseball in for right now. I know it's hard, but look at the Boston Red Sox. Right, they were they were nobody. Yeah, and then they went to playoffs. They went through the they just went through it and lost in, to the Braves. I'll throw yeah. another one in the Atlanta Hawks last year. Yeah, and look yeah. at the, and look at Atlanta Braves, bro. They were below 500 before the All Star break. Blah blah blah. They came and win the World Series. Yeah, the, that's I'm comparing that to 49ers because 49ers they started off slow, right, and somehow they just gotten good. Over the like, course of this season, mm-hmm. they, they stayed to the path. And I feel like the 49ers, not like conference championship, I feel like they could get to, uh, I say divisional round, they can get the uh, wild card. They win the wild card. It game. all depends on matchups. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. And then they mm, they might have a chance uh, to go to uh, it's so conference. Hard. It's so hard to tell. Cause you yeah, because sure. we don't know the matchups right now. Yeah. And like you said as well, the biggest inconsistency of the 49ers is injuries. Yeah. So you never know. You guys can be full health at the week 17. The next thing you know, your whole team can go down. And then like playoffs for next week, you guys have nobody. Yeah. You know? The only thing that's going for us right now is that we have the six easiest remaining schedule. Yeah. That's way easier. You want to know what else? I mean, we got a struggling. We have We have a struggling upcoming Seahawks game. They, you guys should win that game. They are completely out of the playoff race. Realistically, they're out. They're you know if they would have won last night, then it would have been a, an amazing game because it would have been a make or break game for both teams. Now it's just a make or break for 49ers, not for the Seahawks. That's one. And then from there on, we really don't face anyone. I mean, we face the Bengals. I think that's our biggest threat. I don't and believe the Rams. No, oh, don't count out the dude, Rams. I'm just because you, no. you guys, just because you guys, got one game against the Rams. Don't count out the Rams, yeah. dude. We're five and zero oh against them. 
Okay, in the past in the past you, five games, will you guys beat you haven't them? Lost a single will you guys one. beat them again? I could see it, but don't count them out. Is what I'm, I'm saying. I'm not counting them out. They but still have a super I really, team. I really find it very very difficult for them to beat us. Yeah, they have a super team, but what have they done with it? I, I know, but I you, mean, they just lost to the Packers. I but and the Packers think, are good, but you still, think chemistry still got to be built with them. They Od- Odell and Matt still got to build chemistry. Von Miller hey, still got to get hey, chemistry. Odell just had a. A fifty-yard touchdown. Yeah, when they were down yeah, by like two one. touchdowns, like and I don't think they have enough time to build chemistry. To be honest with you, like uh, no, because I feel like it's a little easier in football to build chemistry. Hey, question than. about the Rams, are real fast. Yeah, with all the superpower coming in, you have the talents of Aaron Donald, right? Yeah, Bob Miller. Yeah, um, Odell, Matthew Stafford, Cooper Cup. Do you think it's the coaching? No, like the obviously you have all that talent, but you can't be successful with it. So what's the issue then? What's the issue? My my issue is what I said this earlier on a couple episodes. I think it's Matthew Stafford. I don't think he's the guy for that that team. I don't think I don't think he's good enough to take him to. I don't think he's good enough to take him to the promised land. That's what I think. And I, I don't think it's a coaching. I don't know if I could go with going against Matthew Stafford because this is only one. This is his first year out of Detroit. Yeah, I mean, but he's a veteran. Like we've seen, like he never can win the big game. We haven't seen him win a big game yet. I get it, but like, all right, I'm gonna be biased here, and I don't want to. I don't want to. Crucify him for his time in, at Detroit because yeah. it is Detroit. But to a certain extent, you have to. I mean, yeah, I get it's it. what we I have on it. him. No, I get like, it. He, he didn't have anybody. He had one of the best receivers of all time. Yeah, okay. Calvin Johnson. Yeah, Calvin Johnson for five years. Okay. And then you have Aaron Rodgers who's had Devontae Adams, and that's pretty much it. I mean, and you see what they do. They they tear yeah, up the true. league every but, year. Okay. He has a point there. Coaching, though. Bro. Name, I, a, name Detroit Lions head coach. Hey, Jim Caldwell. Yeah. Don't I, tell me you're Matt putting Patricia. this on, uh, on Sean McVay. No, don't he's, tell me. No, he's he's talking about the he's talking about the uh, Detroit Lions. Coach no, I know, but game. I'm talking about the Rams because he's brought in and bring yeah, out. In a way, I okay, kind of for, am. Yeah, so no, to extent, dude, are you kidding me? He has not had a losing season. Yeah, okay. and he's he's made okay. playoffs okay, year in year out. I can see near. kind of what he's saying because to what they're doing this year is kind of disappointing. It's disappointing, but like you got to, it's a new. I'm not a, saying he's a terrible a coach. I'm just, I'm just saying it's a new quarterback where he has. Just saying, you he, had 13 weeks plus a whole offseason. He just, I could no, I, I really can see what he's saying because I mean the, co- it, it all comes down to coaching. It all comes down to personnel and what they do to get their players involved. Well, maybe what his game plan isn't doing to, is helping Odell. Maybe what their plan's doing. Cooper Cup hasn't been okay. He's had last Odell weeks. for two games. I know. Maybe. And the first one, he only threw one thing where fucking Matthew Stafford threw an interception. And their, their defense, their defense just let up. I, I don't remember the exact score, but I know it was over 30 against the Packers. 30, I want to say 36. So, I mean, they left, they put up, they let us put 30 on them. Too. Exactly. And the 49ers, I mean, too, they have Debo Samuel. Their offense isn't the best, and they still. Yeah, 36 them. 28. Yeah. So I kind of see what Jake is saying. 66 points in the past two games. Yeah. There is no, there is no excuse I can find for them to be losing these games. All right. Well, more realistically, I think it's more, I mean, yeah, it's offensive, but also defensive coordinator. I mean, yeah, you can maybe look at more defensive. You coordinate. see what I'm saying? Yeah. They're, because they're, that's where the points come from. Okay, them, them allowing them to score that. All much. that happens, it goes right back to the head coach. Everything leads to the head coach, though. Yeah, I get it, but also you got to start from somewhere, somewhere else, and that starts with the defensive coordinator. I don't know, bro. I I don't know if I can. I get okay. Let me let me sum it up. I get what you're saying with the coaching. I completely understand it, but I don't know if I could complete the com, put the entire coaching blame on Sean McVay. He's, oh yeah, he's, I'm not putting. Like, okay, listen, okay, okay. listen, I'm not putting. Were, I'm not putting ev- all the blame on Sean McVay. I'm just saying, okay. like, there comes to a point where you have to come to like a realization: is it the coaching, or is it the personnel, or the people that don't fit in Sean McVay's system? Okay, um, Sean McVay is hell of a coach, hundred mm-hmm. percent. I'm just saying this season, like Austin said, you have all this star power, and all these stars coming to your team, and it's kind of disappointing that your seven and four, three game losing streak. Yeah. I mean, no offense, but you can't beat the 49ers. Yeah, I agree. And they and they weren't even on a, that was the start of their winning streak. They weren't yeah. even on a winning streak yeah. at that point. They weren't hot. Exactly. You let them get hot. You let Debo Samuel get off. You let I him mean, get jiggy to on. To bring y'all. it back, to bring it back to the 49ers to the actual topic. Yeah, we got. I do think that we can make a run because hear hear me out. Jimmy G is a confidence player. He plays good when he has when he believes in himself and stuff like that. And he's not a type of person that can create I mean, that's confidence. That's every quarterback though. No, 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 but you see it a lot more with him though. Because here's the one thing about quarterbacks. They can create confidence for themselves. They can pick themselves up. Jimmy G can't. He needs the surrounding team, the surrounding coaching, the surrounding facility to pick him up. And right now, the 49ers have picked him up. They brought him up. and like, hey, bro, you're good. You're straight. And he's been doing good for the past three games. He hasn't done amazing, but he's been getting the job done. Right? right. The only problem is we just lost our fucking offense. Debo Samuel for one to two weeks. Yeah. <sighs> 
they're gonna have to play. They're gonna have to throw more to Kittle. I know you guys. Yeah, and yeah, I mean, I told you guys. You guys thought I was crazy and I was stupid, but hey, Kittle just blocks. That's all we use him for. If you really look at her film, no, I, I, I see all it. he does yeah. is block, and that's the that's his issue with Kittle because he doesn't demand the ball. He doesn't. He says, I'm okay with whatever they give me. And he prefers blocking. He's come out and said it multiple times. So him, Jawan Jennings, and Brandon Ayuk need to step the fuck up this Seahawks game. And Brandon maybe, Ayuk had a good game the other, maybe, the other game. Maybe, maybe the Bengals game. I hope Debo's back for that game, but I don't even know. Hey, I'm going to be honest. You watch more 49ers game than I do. Yeah. But I don't see how you think Brandon Ayuk's a bust. No. I, 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 what's it called? I got to this topic like three weeks ago. I said it was a bust. He was a bust based on how Kyle was using him. Okay. All right. Now he's using him differently. Now Brandon Ayuk is being the player that we needed him to be. And he all should right. be. All right. Where you see what I'm saying? It was ba- basically all Kyle. And I, I thought I told you this. I don't know if I remember. Him and Kyle got into it like big over the bye week. That's After the bye week, Brandon Ayuk has been going off. You know what I'm saying? He's been the player that we needed him to be. You're and, I, and I hope it continues. You shout out Brando. I don't know. I'm God. Hey, shout bro, out Brando. Shout out, hey, you're, you're welcome to the pod whenever. Yeah, hey, right here. We, hey, cause, cause the other two people won't come. So, hey, there's enough room for y'all. Oh yeah, hey, I forgot to touch on that. Where's Jeremiah? Where's Tyrus, bro? Hey, hey, life comes before the podcast, I guess. I guess. Damn. <laughs> they, hey, they just not dedicated like us three. Wow, that's crazy. I am always here, always on the grind, giving my fans the best uh, sports knowledge out there. Hey, yes, sir. Hey, still haven't missed an episode yet. Hey, hey, oh, some questions. Hey, question, Austin, you and I haven't both. Hey, good job. Hey, but swift question. Real grinders. Is Debo contention for our offensive player of the year? Yes, yes, for sure. But missing these two weeks is going to kill because it's it such a tie, it's such him. a tight race with Cooper Cup, Jonathan Taylor, and uh, Debo Samuel. I don't. I, hey, I'm gonna be honest. Jonathan Taylor shouldn't be in the offensive player of the year conversation. He should be the MVP MVP conversation. He's gonna be in both, but he here's the thing. Here's the problem that I, the only reason he's not in the MVP is because he's not a quarterback. No, that's he's, why he's definitely an MVP. To he, to win it is going to be an uphill battle, which I don't that's think. I like, don't think he's going to win it. But he so, would be winning it if he was a different position. But just because he's a running back, I don't. Yeah, see that, him winning I, he's front runner. I he think definitely should. Like if the season were to end, he'd win Offensive Player of the Year today. But oh, yeah. I, I I I think Debo Samuel has a better chance than Cooper Cup to win it. It's really? Just, yeah. Yes. Really. I think I think what he does for the 49ers is it's crazy, bro. He's a Debo's running back. A, he's he's Cordell Patterson Jr. Yeah. Basically. He's a running back and a receiver. Yeah. Putting up numbers. And he's have his numbers are like, I'm not gonna lie, really similar to the Cooper Cup. And that's him. And dude, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, people don't understand. The fact that Debo is still putting up those numbers with the average quarterback above average quarterback that he has in Jimmy G, it's ridiculous. He's yeah. he's number two in receiving and yards the, with the ten with the dead ass uh five, ten, ten yard slants that he does. Yeah. That's and all he does, and he, he, dude, he's second in receiving in the league. Right. In these past couple of games, Cooper Cup hasn't been uh, performing as well as we're used to. So exactly. If if teams keep game planning against like how they're doing and actually slowing them down, then we might see him really be out the race completely. Yeah. And another thing is, bro, what's crazy is that Debo's already missed, I think, one or two weeks already. Yeah. Not even counting these one or two weeks that he's gonna miss all uh, again, again. Yeah. and he's still number two. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I think uh, that is crazy. I, I think at the end of the season, Jonathan Taylor's gonna end up taking it just because consistency. Yeah, especially if the Colts end up making the playoffs. He had five touchdowns in one game. The Colts, crazy. the Colts might actually end up winning their division with the Titans. They must beat the Bucks, bro. Yeah, I know. Yeah, the Colts, the Colts are good. They're actually pretty good. Yeah, I they, told you, bro. Really, Michael Pittman really Jr. Good. got that team right. The way you beat the Colts is force yeah. Carson Wentz to make plays. That's that's what the that's, and that's what every that, team that's does. what the Bucks ended up doing. They, they barely ran the ball in the second half because they were confident yeah. in Carson Wentz, and the Bucks ended up coming back and winning that game. Mm-hmm. That's what how you Carson beat Wentz had a great first half. Yeah, exactly. They got too confident. Hey, when the, yeah. hey, when the game mattered, Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz is one of them quarterbacks. Like, but that's gets, really stupid. How like I'm sorry for interrupting, Austin. Mm-hmm. But that is so stupid. They really compared Carson Wentz to Dak Prescott. When coming out the draft, or? yeah, and like coming out the draft in like the first two three years, man. Yeah, it's because they're it's because they're, they're the when you're drafted with somebody, you're gonna be linked like forever. Yeah, I don't care, bro. Don't disrespect my man's like that. All right, bro, your your man's is not that good. I, he's I. Right. I believe in Dak attack. He's I right at best. But D- Dak's pretty good. Y- y'all be hating. But let's move on to two quarterbacks that we still don't know if they're gonna be great. I mean, we all like to say that both are gonna be great. Both say they're going to be the face of the NFL, both being the new GOATs. I'm talking about Joey Burrow versus Joe Herbert. Joe Herbert. 
this you Sunday. You have to redo that. You fucked up. How? You said Joe Herbert. Joe Herbert. <laughs> Joe, Joe Herbert. Herbert. Oh. <laughs> oh. We got Joe. We got Joe Burrow oh, versus Justin Herbert. We got Bengals versus Chargers this Sunday. <laughs> Who's winning the game? Hey. Let me hear it. We're taking hey, thank you for the assist, for, Austin. My bad. Hey. hey hold on. Time my out. My bad, Justin. We're taking uh, new applications for a new host. If you want an application, <laughs> just hit the DMs. Hey, Twitter and Instagram. It's okay. He speaks, nah, two, he speaks nah, two languages. Nah, that's okay. crazy. I messed up big time. But, hey, like I said, all right, bro. Who do you think wins? Justin or Joe? This Okay, from a team standpoint, the Bengals are definitely winning this game against the Chargers. We have been way more consistent than the Chargers. Our defense plays a lot better than the Chargers. Our offense has been way more consistent. I, I, I really don't see an argument for the Chargers winning this game, and if you guys got one, I really want to hear it. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> hey, I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> Go first, Jake. Hey, I'm going to be honest with you, Austin. I agree with you 100%. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, there ain't nothing about it. I mean, like, head-to-head bro versus Herbert, I'm taking Herbert. Um, head-to-head, you're uh, taking Herbert. That, that's, just a, that's just me because I like them coming out of Oregon. I mean, I I call it as my MVP for the NFL. I, I hey, he's not playing as an MVP I, caliber player. Too, it was Damn too it. early. It was too early, like yeah. I said, the whole offseason. 100%. But All right, you were right on one I, thing. I believe in Justin Herbert. I trust Justin Herbert, and give him a couple more years. I feel like he'll be a top-notch yeah, quarterback. I agree. You guys were just all hyping him up this offseason, say, "Oh, he's he's MVP ready, MVP ready." Man, it is a second okay, season. Listen, <laughs> that's that's just that doesn't happen. A lot. I just have a huge <laughs> belief in Justin Herbert. Hey, it could still happen though. But like, it just sadly didn't happen team, in this case. Team base, I the Bengals will win this game. Um, I, I feel like it'll be a closer game. Chargers are struggling majorly right now. Yeah, I, it is. Unbelievably sad how bad they're struggling. Yeah, there's no reason they have they have all the pieces to be a great team and they just can't put it together. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So then, do we put it on coaching? First year coach, hey. I mean, you could, but like you said, first year coach, you know. Hey, yeah. I know, but hey, Zach Taylor, look at Zach Taylor. First three years he was struggled, and now his fourth season he's having a good. Or year. all these players on the Chargers more overrated than than what you think? Do you think that could be the case? Do you think Justin Herbert's possibly overrated? Do no. We? I don't, no, think, I don't he think he's overrated. I, don't I think, think he's it's maybe just at all. it's just maybe it's a new system. Uh, maybe they understood it, or they maybe thought they understood it in the beginning of the season because the beginning of the season they were smooth. But 100%. towards the end, I, I don't know. Like you said, they just something changed, and they haven't been able to clear. I mean, I don't think too, anything drastic. changed. This is how they were last year. They didn't make a wild card last year. They were. All right, but last year was with a different coach, though. No, I'm just saying, like I don't, think, I don't know. I mean, yeah. let me get out of the way. It's sad to say it, but because I'm a charge, I'm. I'm Supporting the Chargers, but I also support the Bengals. So I'm sad on one side, but I'm happy as hell on the other side. No way in hell do the Chargers win this game. Right. I don't think so. No. Um, the Bengals have been playing outstanding football. Uh, they've been clicking on all cylinders. They beat the Steelers by 40 yeah. or 30. Yeah. And then yeah. they did the same thing to the Raiders. They're, the they're last two games, their point differential is 50 points. Well, it's crazy. crazy. Joe Mixon, keep doing what you're doing, boy, because I love you. Oh my God! If he keeps getting me, you getting me fantasy points, if, baby. No, if he keeps doing what he's doing, that's offensive player of the year. <laughs> yeah, nah, bro, but dude, his crazy. last two year bro, games bro, have been it's crazy. It's a different offensive player, different team every week for Austin, bro. <laughs> one week it's the Patriots, one week it's the Joe wanna, Mixon. He doesn't want to get it it's wrong. The Broncos, one week it's the bro. I've been on the I've know. been on the Debo Patriots. Samuel. I've been on the Patriots for a minute now. No. Two weeks, bro. Relax. No, no like nah, he's been weeks. on the minute. He's been with them in the minute. Bro, ever since I dropped to Mac Jones, I was like, this team making the wild card. Hey, but now they're about winning the fucking division. Man. Yeah, he <laughs> did. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, he did. But anyways, bro, anyways. give me just over Joe, and then but I feel like this week Cincinnati will win. All right, so with, hey, with that being said, I mean you kind of answered it already. So you starting a franchise, you taking Herbert? Yeah, I will. I don't even got to ask you. I already know your answer, but hey, just right, go listen, ahead. This is my argument with this. It's more, okay, Justin Herbert, the physical ability is there more than it is Herbert, but it's more than that. It's your mental, it's your Justin pose. Justin Herbert is one of the smartest quarterbacks in the okay, league. Okay, listen. Okay, it's your, listen, it's your leadership. It's your pose. Jo- Joe Burrow has winning mentality. He's been there. He's done that. He won the Heisman. He won the national championship. Ever since he got to the Bengals, we're a winning team. That's Joey franchise right there. Justin Herbert, I'm, sad, I'm sorry to say this, he hasn't turned around the Chargers just yet. He hasn't done that yet. They should be way better than what they are. Okay, and you know that. Okay, to be fair, uh, Joe Burrow had the same head coach his whole career. Justin Herbert has two different head coaches. You know how hard it is to learn a goddamn playbook. Joe Burrow played nine games his last season. I mean, I okay, get it's but nine still. more games, but you gotta think. Without Zach Taylor, has been arguably his first year was talked about. He should be fired. 
Nobody thinks Zach Taylor is this crazy good coach. This is a, this is Zach Taylor's second year too. No, it's not. It's his first year. Zach Taylor. Zach Taylor. Yeah, he been oh. with you guys for like three years. Oh, it's three, three. My bad. You know what I, I mean. I was thinking about. I was, bro, my bad. I'm hey, thinking about. Hey, true fan. Either over way, here. dude, it doesn't matter. I was thinking about the Chargers head coach. Either way, me. Zach Taylor, he hasn't been. Everybody's talking about he hasn't shown nothing. It's his first year. Everybody yeah. was saying he should be fired. So we're talking about he has a, a supposedly bad coach, and this team could win their division. All right, here. Let me go back. Let me go back to the point where you brought up their mentality. Joe, there's two different types of uh, leaderships, right? There's the outspoken type, right? Where they're they are gonna be rooting for their team. They're gonna be loud and hollering. You know what I'm saying? Right. Hyping up their team. That's Joe Burrow. Everyone sees it, right? But then there's the behind the closed door leadership, which isn't really seen. Isn't really it, bingo. Really, it's really more behind the locker room. Yeah, behind, it's really more, but doors. it's more. It's more negatively looked at because it's the NFL and it's the position he's at. He's a quarterback. Justin Herbert was always talked about how he was shy, right. but he was a great exactly. leader. Okay. He was a great leader and that it takes him time to to build relationships with his teammates to be able to okay. to be able to get that chemistry. So that's why I that mentality aspect I can't I can't give you that because I mean, Justin Herbert's a great leader. It's just the fact that he needs to. He's more of a shy person. Uh, right. And people like people's problems now, like with the league, bro. And like if you're not out, if you're not like in the media, if you're not out, if you're not speaking, they think you're a terrible leader. But yeah. this, but like yeah. the media set like a bad image on how like you're supposed to do this or that yeah. or All right. Let me yeah. let me let me let me argue this. Okay. Name a quarterback who's not outspoken. Name a quarterback who's shy. Who's a Top five quarterback who's taken their teams to the Super Bowl. You really can't name one. Kyle all, Josh Allen. all the great quarter. He's out. He's definitely a leader. Tom Kyle. Brady's a leader. Aaron Rodgers a leader. Russell Wilson's a leader. Josh Allen. He's a leader. Lamar Jackson. He's a leader. Kyle Dak Murray. Prescott. He's That's a leader. You, who are you talking about? Kyler Murray. Yeah. He definitely. You see him. No. Justin Herbert. You never see anything about him hyping up his team. You barely see it. And to to your point, that works in college. In the NFL, it's not working. Whatever he's doing is obviously not working because Dude. they're not winning games. Okay, you're so, asking. You asked for a, a player that's top five. That's that's. That's yeah, that's not outspoken. Yeah. I just gave you one. Who? Josh Allen. Josh Allen is. You, he's not that outspoken. Okay. He is not crazy oh. outspoken. And Josh Allen. You could compare him. You can compare his leadership type to Justin Herbert because Josh Allen is that type of quiet person. Jo he jo is that type of shy person. Yeah, he talks more than Justin Herbert, Justin Herbert, but he's still a quiet type of quarterback. He doesn't really go out there like a Joe Burrow does. Okay, you name you, you name me one out of like ten I just gave you. Okay, but you literally just said name name. Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers definitely. He's definitely. He's a drama queen. You know he talk. He talks. He's a drama queen for himself, Aaron but Rod not for the team. Aaron Rodgers is a talker. Justin Herbert. It, okay, what he's doing is not working it, in college. It's going to work obviously because it's college and he's an NFL caliber player. But in the hell, Tom Brady when he was at the Patriots. Dude, Tom Brady's always been a leader. You. He's been a but no. See, you, I, I'm not questioning their leadership. That's what I'm questioning. I don't know if he has it. Okay, so no, because you asked me, name quarterbacks that are in the top five that are leaders but that are not outspoken. Tom Brady just now became an outspoken quarterback when he got away from Bill Belichick. But tell me he was outspoken when he was at the Patriots. Okay. No, he was not, and he was number one for years. Uh, Come on now. I've never I've never in a day in my life questioned Tom Brady's leadership. Facts, 100%. So, what, no, dude, listen to me. I'm not making okay, the case okay, to question Okay, I get what leadership. you're saying. He okay, might okay. be a leader behind the scenes, but let's be honest, what he's doing is not working. We have we have an <coughs> offense that could be potentially the best offense in the league, and yeah. we have players every week not showing up. So it's either Justin Herbert's not getting them involved, or it's either they're just not buying into like what Justin Herbert's doing. We have Austin Eckler, who could arguably be a be the best running back in the league. He's a great dual threat. He's he's okay. Mm -hmm. We have Keenan Allen, a thousand yard receiver. You have Mike Williams, who's shown he can be great. Like okay, they, if that, if they have all the, the weapons. They have all the weapons to be great, and it's just not clicking. Okay, if that's the case, that has to be the coaching, hundred percent. What about uh, and last year? They didn't make the they didn't make the play uh, playoffs either, though. That's what I'm saying. Like I don't know. But they, they had, had a Anthony different lane, bro. Yeah, he's a, terrible. Yeah. That's okay. number one, and then number two. Okay, I mean, I okay, hold on. I, do I you see, okay see all these question marks? I'm pointing out just just Herbert. I can't put a single question mark on Joe Burrow besides his turnover rate, which is they're not. It's not even that bad. It's the only bad. reason. Okay, so here's the thing. Yeah, they're teammates and stuff like that. But damn near every offensive weapon on the Chargers have come out and spoken amazing about Herbert. How they yeah, love his that's leadership. What you do, your like teammates. That. Not all the time. You don't have to do that. You you don't nine, have to. Odell nine, didn't do nine that. Nine times out of ten, your teammates are gonna hype him up rather than like last year. Joe Burrow would hype up his offensive line. And we had the worst offensive line in the league. That's the type of that's just what you do. Joe Burrow's not even out. Joe Burrow's not even that much outspoken. But what he does is enough to get the guys rolling. 
It, Joe Burrow has a way younger team than Justin Herbert does, and it's still it's clicking more because he's that player. He's that guy. He's that bit much of a playmaker that's going to get everybody involved. It's more. It's more than just about physical ability. No, and Joe I get Burrow, it. Joe and Burrow the, has I, all of and it. And I do. I could say. I can say as, as of right now, from what I've seen, yeah, Burrow has a better mentality. But it's because, like I said, you get more attracted to it. You get more. You get more positive vibes from an outspoken leader, a guy that that's going to be cocky, but that can, sadly, you know, speak up for. It. You know what I'm saying? He can actually come out and do what he talks. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, okay, if we're going by stats, they're neck and neck. I mean, they are. That's what I'm saying. So like, it's. I get you guys want to take it's Herbert. It's close. I get. I get it. I Dude, can I see why. Have, I just have no, this I didn't belief even tell in you Justin I Herbert. Take. I don't bro. even know who I would take. I love Justin Herbert in college, bro. I, like, I'm just riding with him because I watched him in college. Bro, they're and both gonna be. That, that's gonna be one and two in the future. Like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. They're, if I had started franchise, I'm taking Burrow. Okay. You were just defending all this Herbert, and now no, you're I get it because bro. nah because. I felt like he was making it seem like it was not even close. No, hell no. It's definitely you close. You see what I'm saying? It's close. Yeah, I'm just now, making now an Now argument. that you said that, you know, okay, from the beginning, I thought that was you were making it seem. I got to give the fans some content. That's why, like, that's why <laughs> I had to defend, you know, that's why I had to defend Justin. But for hey, me, dude, keep argument. it, dude, be honest with you, it's close for me too. Like, I don't know who I would choose. But, I mean, from everything that I've seen, bro has been successful everywhere he's gone. I think I think the only reason why I'm saying her is just because I'm biased. I mean, I'm biased as hell too. I support I, the man. I, I love, love I love her. I was, I watched dude in college. Hell, I supported him in college candidate. and everything. Um, I don't know why. I just have this thing with like like I do with Dak, bro. It's just once I yeah, like, with Dak, that's a tweak. Like once I like a player or something like that, I'm right. I'm I'm right until the wheels fall off. Okay, I get that. You just gotta give me stats to back it up, though. Like yeah, like you, you, like you're not gonna like. It's gotta make sense. You know what I'm saying? I mean. The argument's close. It's Turnover just, rate. Joe, Joe Burrow throws way more interceptions. But not by much. But not by much. And his completion rate is a way, way higher. It's one of the best in the league. Hey, that PFF grade, he's not, he's the best. He's the third best quarterback in the league right now. Justin Herbert doesn't have any weapons. <sighs> okay. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I just, okay. wanted, I just wanted to see what you had to say, Austin. Okay. Okay, Jake. Nah, but Eric, let's be serious. Let's be serious here. It's it's a lot closer than we all make it seem. Make it out to seem to be. Uh, I don't know. I'm going with Burrow. You're going with Herbert. Yeah. We already know who you're going with, motherfucker. Hey, Joey B. Joey, hey. that's Joey franchise. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie, Austin. All right, but let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Oh my bad. Go ahead. Go ahead. He's and then I'm gonna ask you something. Austin. Also, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I was staring at that jersey for like five minutes. You, you'll probably watch it when you watch your video. I was, my eyes were on it. That shit is beautiful. Bro, I'm, I'm not gonna you, lie. This shit is raw. The, the black stripes. <laughs> no. The black stripes on the white, bro. Dude. Nah, hey. but y'all dead ass. Hey, y'all come get dead. at uh, BingleShop.com. Hey, bro. Hey, you can watch me in the video. I was looking at the thing for like five minutes. Hey, bro. yo. <laughs> no, nah, but y'all, y'all dead ass need a white helmet though. Uh, I, I, hey, you talk to our people. I don't care. Ah, bro, what you doing? I'm trying to burn my foot. See, right, you're but weird. going back, going back to what I was gonna ask you real quick. So you talk about the success that both teams are having, right? Right. Because <clears throat> that's what you're making the case based on the teams. So if you put Justin Herbert on the Bengals, do you think they can do the same thing that they're doing with their, Joe Burrow or no? That's tough. I, I don't mean, think. I don't think. Similar. I don't think to a certain extent. I think. I don't think they'll have the same amount of success. I don't think so. Because the the and another reason why I give Joe Burrow so much praise is because this is a young ass team. We don't have a player on our offense that is over thirty. I want to say that team is great. Like to to get Jamar Chase involved, T Higgins, Tyler Boyd, Joe Mixon, the way he is. I don't know if Justin Herbert could do that. Now this is all like hypothetical. Yeah. But from what I've seen on the Chargers, no, I don't think he can. So do you think Joe Burrow could, if he was on the Chargers, he could turn that around? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I really think so. I really Damn. think he could get him more involved. Damn. I just, hey, that, what do you Damn. think? What do you think, Jake, if Burrow was on the... Yeah, Jake, what do you think, bro? I don't know, to be honest. Uh, I think it would like, just be the same thing. You think the Bengals would still be successful if they had Justin Herbert? Yeah. So do you think it's more based on the team? Do you think the Bengals are the team... The team itself, the way it's run and everything, is just that much better than the Chargers, where the Chargers are setting Justin Herbert up for yeah, failure. I, I can't really say it because the Chargers have a good team, too. That's what I'm saying. But I, I you don't see where know. I'm coming from? Yeah, I do. I see where you guys are coming from. I don't know, bro. It's tough. Sorry. All right, but hey, chat. It's neck and neck. I mean, not chat. Chat. Sorry. I'm, I was, I've been watching like, Twitch comment, for subscribe. a minute. So I got chat. I got chat and stuck in my head. But hey, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Boys and girls. I hope, I hope this guy actually puts puts this up, pull up on Instagram like he always says, but he never does. Hey. Who are you taking? Sisters, uncles, grandpas, grandpas. Justin or Joe? 
Herbert or Burrow? Yeah. Who are you taking? Yeah. For your franchise. Joey franchise. So, can we agree to disagree and let the fans decide? Yeah, so make always, the that's, decision that's for us? That's what it always comes down to. Hey. All right. We so, love, hey, we are love you our, actually going to put it up on Instagram? We love our supporters. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. What's up, Dan? All right, Dan. I'll be, I'll be active on there. All right, Dan. I'll be active right, Dan. I like Twitter. that. I like that. But, <laughs> with that being said, is there anything else you guys want to say about the NFL? Uh... Go Cowboys. Hey. Cowboys will be straight. Don't worry about us, sweetheart. Worry about your team, Austin, and shut up. I'm just ready for a watch some damn football. Damn. Hey, the season, hey, no, the hey bro. Really, Hold season's on. getting good. Hold on, no. Let, let me talk to the audience real fast. Hey, W Thanksgiving games. Hey, no, w, no, w, not at no, all. W, not hey, at w, all. W, no. w, 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 this past week. No. I, I like the games. Hey, no, hey, not un, the past unpopular week opinion, or I don't even know. NBA Christmas uh, is greater than... Uh, NFL Thanksgiving. No. Yes. 100%. Not a chance. Hey, that's arguable. But anyways, 100%. Hey, let me talk to the audience real fast. Audience, how y'all doing? My name's Jake. I hope y'all doing well. But hey, Austin. TikTok. Austin, bro, is one of the biggest tweaks I know. This dude is more worried about my Cowboys than he is his Bengals. And Tyrus is too. Let me hit that. Let me hit him with this. For example, out of nowhere, right? You're weird. You just brought this shit up out of the cup. No, Go ahead. I'm, I'm talking. Ahead. I'm talking. Out of nowhere. 10, 10 o'clock last night. No, I say 11.30. We have a group chat, you know? Austin texts. He goes, Jakey boy, better watch out for your Cowboys. The Washington football team's coming in hot. <laughs> Bro, you know how bad the Cowboys live rent-free in his head? I mean, bro, the game's going. It makes sense. Like the Washington football team, the game in the same was division. over. That dude, they and they look good. And I, that's why I took away from it. I was like, hey, the Washington football team could really make a run here. So I mean, that wasn't that crazy. You act like it was like three p.m. on a like Tuesday, and I was just like, hey, <laughs> Cowboys fucking suck. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> no, I Y'all games suck. And to back up my argument on NBA on Christmas and NFL Thanksgiving, like, dude, the NFL Thanksgiving plays fucking Lions every year. Like nobody wants to watch that. Bro, NBA hey, Christmas is all good ass games. That's, that's tradition. Hey, sons of warriors play. Again, yeah, that's what Christmas. I'm saying. And we got Lakers and Nets. That's a gr- uh, Nick, that's a, Knicks that, and Hawks. Like, come no, on, Nets and Lakers. That's a mid game. No, it's not because the Lakers suck and the Nets suck. But moving on Lakers to the NBA, pay. which is speaking about the Suns and the Warriors, prime time big game tonight, hey. Hey. Tuesday hey. at 10 p.m. Sadly, hey. Hey. for the East Coast, we hey. can't see that because it's oh. too late. And we we got, all oh. got work the next day. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Ken not me. Curry and not the me. Warriors not snap Hell no. the D book no. and Suns Hell no. 16 Hell game no. winning streak. Hell no. Hell no. No, they awesome. cannot. What you got, hey. bro? No, they can't. Right, not. Oh, my fault. My fault. So oh. this oh, okay, when you're watching this, obviously you're gonna already know who wins. So we're not really gonna talk about predictions that long. But for this game, it's at Phoenix. Um, and they're hot. I'm just gonna oh, this is so hard to say. This is bro. So hard. Bro, the Warriors are so good, the Suns are so good. The Suns right now. Clip it, Tyrus. The Suns right now, bottom to top, I think are the better team than the Warriors. I think. <laughs> they just have more pieces that I think play the role better than the Warriors. The Warriors aren't far off. Don't they, don't go crazy. The Warriors aren't far off. Yeah. But nah, I the just Warriors are Curry's absurd. They bro. have Curry, right? But it's just the Suns, man. They, they're just they play dude, it's hard. Like I can say this about both teams. It's just Suns play a so let's play as a team. It's not just yeah. ice ball. I feel like, okay, I feel, yeah, if one player falls, it's not going to be the end of the world. I feel like if Curry's not dropping 30, they don't win that game. That's how I feel. I feel like Curry has to go off for them to win this game. Look, let me hey. just, Ash, So, to answer Phoenix the question, I have the Suns tonight, but if I sound stupid, hey, I sound stupid. Dude, hey. Look, bro. Hold on, Caesar. Let me talk. No, you want to go first? All right, yeah, bro. let me go. Austin, I'm proud of you, kid. I love you very much for uh, becoming a man right there. Uh, you finally... You finally took that sun slander out the back door, and hey. isn't he just talking shit? Like, hey, not I, even five okay. minutes hey, ago. But hey, he talked shit about my Cowboys, but, but <laughs> hey, not about the Suns. <laughs> anyway, he took that sun slander out the door, out the back door, which I appreciate very much. Yeah. Um, about time you realize that the Suns are the real deal. Um, Golden State, don't get me wrong, Golden State is a hell of a team. Phoenix, it's just like also said, it's just from point guard to backup center, the Suns. They're stacked in every every position. Um, they play so great as a team. For example, at Brooklyn, bro, uh, they had like twelve passes before they shot the ball. Everyone touched the ball. Yeah, before they scored a point. Yeah. Um, War- Golden State, like also said, uh, right now, if Curry's not dropping 30, 35 points, the, w- the Warriors are in champ is in contention to lose the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Curry has to pop off every each night. Um, and Phoenix, you don't have to. One night, CP3 can 
take over and drop you 25 points and eight yeah. rebounds or eight assists, excuse me. Devin Booker can drop off and give you 40 points. Chris Paul yeah. will give you 20. Or hell no, DA can give you tw- 20, 10, and 5. Yeah. And Mikel Bridges, he can he can drop you a smooth 20, 10 steals. Christ, he, he had five steals in, a, in the first quarter against the Nets. Yeah. Mikel Bridges. He's arguably the best wing. Okay. Would you say, yeah, winger in the league, right? I'd say he's arguably the best wing defender in the w- league. Wing defender in the league. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Excuse me. Come on now. My fault, yo. Nah. You, you over your... Over your head, nah, bro. But nah, no, let, me get, a, let me give, let me give, let me give my, let me get my thing in real quick. Let me get my thing in real quick. Give and if you sons. think that the MVP number one runner, Seth Curry, can't drop your shitty ass sons, <laughs> you are mistaken. If you think bro can't drop 30, 40, 50, 60 points on your team, you are mistaken. Because let me tell you this right now, little boy. Him up. Let me tell you this right now, little boy. The teams have a better shot. To leave, hey, hold on, no. hey, to, I'm leave big, to leave, to to leaving Curry wide the ass open to miss a shot than having a person guarding him. So the only the only advice I can give your your sons, because I'm not on the Suns team side anymore, because them asses, fuck it, they pissed me off last year in the finals. Right, you I'm gonna tell you this right now. now. Tell D. Buck leave Curry wide open because that's his best shot of Curry missing a shot, boy. No, that's all I gotta say. No, that's done. It fin- finito. Awesome. Hey, we made our predictions. Now go to the next question. No, no, time out. Austin, does he not know who Mikel Bridges <laughs> is? Hey. I mean, they got Draymond Green. So Mikael I mean, Bridges is like, okay. Draymond, Draymond Green gonna. They're both. They're they're hand down. in hand. Defend. What do you? Draymond Green's probably a better defender than Michael Bridges. Okay, Jake. No. Sorry guys, Mikael Bridges there for a minute. Mikael Bridges put Steph on clamps tonight. Okay, so Sorry, no. go, hey, go, to the, no. go to the our next question. No, so hey. W energy though. W energy. No, hey, like time out. Time out. Steph's gonna drop a quiet thirty. But quiet. Yeah. <laughs> quiet. I don't think dropping to 30 is quiet. Nah, nah, it's quiet, bro. Bro, have you seen what he's been doing? I don't care. Mikel Bridges. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. Hey, that, matter of uh, fact, that's, Mikel Bridges that's locking MVP. him up. That's MVP. That's MVP. Oh, 100% he's MVP. 100%. But Mikel Bridges is locking him up tonight. All right, all right, whatever. But moving on to the sub question, which is Are the D Book Suns or the Warriors and Curry, you just blocked my view, and Curry more legit? Which one of the two are more legit? Jake. I want to go with your bias ass. What's up? As of right now, it's the Phoenix Suns. Oh, okay. This like this time, November thirtieth, Tuesday, one twenty-five. Mm-hmm. Right now, the, the Suns, Suns are more, okay. the Suns are the most legit team. All right. Just because Golden State's not fully healthy. Yeah. They don't have Clay. They don't have James Wiseman. Yeah. When when they get back, you could be a stretch. But right now, Suns have everything clicking for them. They have a g- phenomenal head coach in Monty yeah. Williams. Great point guard, top five point guard of all time. Arguably the best shooting guard in the league right now in Devin Booker. Best wing defender in <laughs> Mikel Bridges. And one of the best centers. I'm not in, taking Devin Booker over DeMar DeRozan right now. And one of the best <laughs> centers in uh, DA. Bro, what are you on today? He's just, okay, he's just, he's just his team, bro. You nah, got, what are you on today? No. You was you was crazy. You was whack as hell on the Cowboys. Now, nah, you're moving bro. on to the sense. I mean, I get it. Y'all on a 16-game winning streak. And y'all legit. Y'all on everything. But man, game win streak, that's impressive, man, bro. Man, do you have your team up way too much? I love my team, bro. Okay, he has every reason to. They look, they they look like one of the best. Uh, you're teams. telling nah, me, every let player, me tell you this. Hold right on, now. no time out. You're yeah. telling me right now, every player just name or is not top three, top five. Uh, no, nah, you, I, I agree. Thank you. Mm. I didn't know. Yeah. I, I don't. He's tripping. You, you made valid points. I mean, nah, I'm, thanks, I'm messing bro. with you, bro. Let, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Pipe out down, of, Caesar. Out of the Curry and Warriors and D Book and the Suns right now, as of right now, yeah, I got the Warriors winning tonight. But nah, definitely the Suns are more legit. They are in the 16, 16 game win streak. They are. They Beat are. The clicked, they are. That bad they boy? are going on all cylinders. But in the long run, can they keep it up? No. Yes. I don't think so. Yes, we can. I don't think so. I think the Warriors have a better chance in the long run picking it up and continuing the success that they're having so far right now. Mainly quotation marks, not even quotation marks, emphasize on Curry himself. Dude, I'm right. just excited to watch it. it bro, it's the best, te- best yeah. teams in the league playing yeah. each other. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, Too bad it's at 10, though. Yeah. I'm still watching that, bro. All right, now here, here I go. Yeah, you don't got work tomorrow. Hey, I work do. too. No, if, I, hey, I do. Hey, oh. if you're asking me who's more legit, the Phoenix Suns or the Golden State Warriors, this is a different answer than my 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 uh my prediction earlier. I think the Suns win tonight, but overall, I think the Warriors are going to be the more legit team. Wow! Makes you got you got to think they got Clay Thompson and James Wiseman still still in their oh, back so pocket. You're basing it off all all year round. Yeah, all year round. Okay, then yeah, me I'm, all year I'm round. Take is the, the Warriors because Curry's uh, Curry's on a mission this year. Everybody's yeah. saying he can't win by himself. Everybody's saying he can't play in the big moments. He's showing yeah. right now. 
he can win by himself. I don't know why that narrative was. Season. I don't know why that narrative was even a thing. He's gonna win in the re- he's gonna win in the playoffs like he always does. Yeah. So it's not even a question for me if w- w- Curry can win by himself. That's why he's the greatest point guard of all time. No, so, w- sorry, which, Magic. <laughs> yeah, uh, dude, I take everything I back. I, I think we had this conversation yeah, it was off awful. screen. It was all. It, it was awful, man. To what to what Curry is doing right now? I would go back in time, smack the shit out of myself because damn, man, was I wrong? Well, we, nah, we Curry had, is we crazy. Had, we had we the, gotta, we, we do had gotta the understand. We had the debate before the season yeah. even started. Well, though. we gotta understand is that right now. Curry, I don't even think there's an argument. He is the You're best player history. in the world right You're now. You're watching yeah. history, He's bro. the best player in the world right now. No argument. I, like, in my opinion, there is no argument Curry, whatsoever. Curry you know how kids, like, watch up, like, watch up to Michael Jordan? Yeah. Like, that's like LeBron LeBron and us Curry is All right, is so right you messed up with LeBron. Too. I understand with Curry, but you messed up right, with bro. LeBron. No, but like Curry, he Curry is the best point guard of all time. Like he's unguardable from half court. Yeah. Like from half court, you have to guard this man. You've never we've never seen that in history of NBA. Yeah. That's what that's he's, that's what's crazy. He's changed the whole game completely. Nah, but like hundred percent. Like I just I, can't bet against that when it comes down to it. If yeah, it's in a, if it's a seven game yeah. series, Western Conference Championship, I'm gonna go the Warriors. They have the most experience. They have the championship DNA. They have the head coach. Not saying the Suns don't, but they have the head coach. They have the players around them. They have the Literally everything you're players. saying the Suns have too. But yeah. I understand what you're saying. A hundred, yeah. a thousand percent. I'm not saying the Suns are far off. I'm not disrespecting yeah, them anyway. You know, and like okay, so I thought we were doing like right now. Right now, the Suns are more legit. That's why I said right now. I'm taking the Suns in yeah. this game. Now Christmas but, might be different. Hey, we'll, we'll have the same the conversation. Entire, for like for the, they're at the entire dude, the Warriors are more legit. Like you said, Curry's on a fucking mission. He's proven his point. That he's the best. Uh, that he's not. He's not this. He's not this key player that can only be the top dude on the on an uh, all star super team fucking super team type of team. You know what I'm saying? I just yeah. re- I repeat myself like four I times know, right I know there. What you mean. But whatever. And dude, he's doing it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's like he's like them players. Like I said, like what bro is that he talks to talk, yeah. but he can walk to walk. Right. And but I think right now he's the most loudest one right now in all sports right now. In my opinion, Curry. Yeah. What other players out there? Okay, he's not outspoken, but like I've his always seen game Curry. I've really crazy. seen. Curry, I've always seen Curry as really humble. Like that's right. what I'm saying. I've never really seen him say talk. But he, when he talks, he can talk. Like you know, what I'm saying yeah. you got to really read hey, through between Curry the lines. Up the, uh, ref, huh? Uh, Bro, that Curry was crazy. Nah, nah, nah. That was crazy because I've never seen Curry do that. Yeah, where he's actually out here like trying to. You bro was trying to square up with the ref. Yeah, hey, but hey, LeBron Shut, did you that. Can't tell Le, me he hey, wasn't. LeBron did he, that. La baby, la snitch, la gone. <laughs> That's just a meme at this point. Nah, nah, but hey, nah, that was crazy though. What him calling other people? Yeah, no. What's that, right, bro? Did, I want to apologize because these guys sent it in the group chat and I was I was going into I LeBron. Said it on the podcast. No, oh, y'all didn't, but all right, but no, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, I just gotta apologize because even though it was behind closed doors, I I murdered LeBron, but then I found out what happened. I was like, hey, yeah, it's good, bro. You good? But you did the right thing. Those just, two people that people did that, bro. You're, you you are dead ass messed up. People just be hating on LeBron. If you're weird. Nah, you're dead ass weird. You're bro, like Jake. You guys don't know. Like, it's like not really talking. Well, about- the, what LeBron's doing right now is actually I mean, like. It's all love, bro. It's actually. Uh, what wild. Russell Westbrook's doing right now is. He's actually playing it, good, too. Bro, he's averaging 26 points right now. He still sucks. No, he, bro. I've been saying when he don't I, turn it don't 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 no, turn I, the narrative I, now, bro. I've don't, don't I always turn said the at the end of the season when he starts playing good, I don't want to hear. It. I want to hear the same Dude, thing. Dude, no, I'm you so, get, it was these two mother mother efforts. No, <laughs> no, no. You know me, bro. Oh, and you, you I three, was, you I three. Was last me, year, me and Jake last year, hard on I am not changing my narrative on him. Goofy's West, awesome. Russell Westbrook Goofy's is not awesome. good. He's bro. You can't say he's, he's not. You're telling me you're averaging 26 points. In the, in the NBA, and you're then, not good. Uh, yeah, if you're not good, you're gonna be like Kimball Walker and get kicked out the lineup. Russell Westbrook still starting. Bro, point if guard. I was the coach, I'd kick out Russell Westbrook. Fucking okay, three tripping. years ago. You're tripping. What? Well, anyway, so, back I to LeBron. Like him, bro. He's Ever since weird. he's got back from suspension, he's had over thirty points. So, and the three past games he played. So, hey, he's a bucket right now. I and, mean, I guess we're chilling. So, hey, go Bron, go Bucks, go Bengals. <laughs> so, hey, going back to the topic, hey, what, what is really it? Say go Bucks. So, what is it? One Suns, two Warriors. Yeah. Damn, bro! Everyone's going against your sons. I said the, I said the win tonight, bro. I'm used probably, to this, bro. Everyone's be, going against my Cowboys and Suns, bro. I might be wrong. I might be All wrong, right, bro, but you gotta be legit. Both teams, dude. A hundred percent. We both might be wrong. Where's my win tonight? But look, me, as the Suns fans, I'm the, taking the dude, Suns. Dude, the Suns got to the big moment. They choked. The, the Cowboys can't always talk yeah, about getting Suns to the big. Had no reason to lose that finals, bro. They, dude, Giannis, had, bro. Giannis played lights out, bro. No, bro, no. Y'all had a two zero lead though. Like y'all really had it in the bag, I and then went to Milwaukee and went to fucking. Shit, dude, y'all, dude, dude, no, 
Nah, that's right, actually next topic, bro. <laughs> that's stop. Actually crazy. Stop. 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 Nah, stop. Let's go back to that. No, no, no. Got, I don't want to talk y'all about that. Y'all got them. jiggy. Nah, that's crazy. No, that is too old. Lead. You're weird, Caesar. <laughs> that's crazy. Y- you all, y'all are weird. Your sons up. are weird for losing that. Y'all weird, dude. I went all in on y'all last year. Y'all weird. That's hey, what I'm saying. Go all that's in on crazy. us again. All for, dude, all for, kids, all in, all for one. kids, if you're listening to me. That's why the saying oh exists. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Because motherfuckers like the Suns are going to fucking fumble the bag. Shut up, Damn. Caesar. Damn. Yeah, don't put all next your eggs in one basket. Bro. Next topic, uh, bro. Please. Going on, to, going on to your request. Moving on to the next topic, which is... Oh, my gosh. Our college football playoffs top four predictions. Let's go. Jake, who's your four, bro? Number one, I got Cincinnati. What? Side nah, uh, nah, nah. I just like Austin's. Yo. Your reaction was funny. Nah, Georgia, 100%. Yeah. Two, I got Cincinnati. Okay. Three, I got Michigan. Uh, and four, I got Oklahoma State. No. Oh. Four, Oklahoma State. Okay. No, Ohio State. <laughs> no shot, Buck. <laughs> Ain't no uh, Brutus in that bitch. I say, I say this. One, Georgia, complete dominant team. Yeah. <laughs> no shot. Cincinnati, Cincinnati, two, they deserve. Every aspect. Of, they deserve every part of it. Yeah. Three, Michigan, obviously, top five team. They just beat the number two team. Not just beat, completely manhandled them. Every aspect of the game. Even though CJ, CJ Stroud played a great game. I don't care what y'all say. He played a good game. He didn't play a great game. And, and four, why well, have Oklahoma State over Notre Dame? Oklahoma State is, arg- I mean, they play another game. To, yeah. To prove themselves against Baylor, yeah. which Baylor's playing. Baylor's pretty good. <laughs> Baylor's pretty good. In a Big Twelve championship game, yeah. Uh, I, I also Notre Dame. They're not in a, a conference, so they they, yeah. they don't have a conference game to play. So they just the committee is looking at their, their overall season and their games, and they didn't play anybody that good except for Cincinnati, and they mm. lost. All right, and then you don't have no games to prove yourself again, right? Because you don't play in a conference. You don't have a conference yeah. game. Yeah, yeah. And Oklahoma State wins. Yeah. Against Baylor, kind of seals them up as their number four. Yeah. If if then if but. George, George could be Alabama, hundred yeah. percent. That's why I don't have Alabama in it, in all it right. at all. You know what's crazy? I didn't ask for all that explanation. No, I just like, you're dead ass weird. I really, really like, you, bro, <laughs> you. don't touch me, bro. I really don't see. Weird. I really don't see Notre Dame in in the college no, football dude, playoffs. No, I had I had them in there at first, but I, I'm like, I forgot. Yeah, they're not in a conference. Yeah. They have no chance. But there's no chance yet. Uh, my list, I have I currently they, I have it the exact same as the AP pool is now. It's Georgia at one, Michigan at two, Cincinnati at three, and Alabama at four. I think if Alabama at least keeps it close with Georgia, I don't think they'll win. I I think Alabama will get in. I think because, one, they have two losses, which is more than Oklahoma State's one, but they played a good game against Georgia. I'm saying this as if Alabama is going to play a good game against Georgia. They almost lost to an unranked Auburn team to I get it. four overtimes. I, I get it, but they did Lost to an unranked Texas A&M team. But who's going to – do you think really – realistically, do you think Oklahoma State's going to give a bigger fight than Alabama will against Georgia? I don't think so. I think Alabama is a better team than I Oklahoma mean, State. I mean, obviously, but – Georgia and Georgia and Alabama already played one, so if they really want, okay. this is Alabama's this is, time. This to is prove only it. reason I'll say Oklahoma State gets in is if when Alabama and Georgia play, Georgia absolutely dominates Alabama because obviously they don't want to see that again. But if it's a close game, you don't think Alabama gets in? Say it's a one score game, like a touchdown or a field goal. I don't goal. think so. You really don't think so I don't because think I think so. it's hard to beat a team twice, and they want Georgia to have the biggest challenge, and I think they get in from that. So. Look, I'm gonna tell you this right now. I pretty much got to, I got the same teams. I just got a different order. Georgia, Cincy, Alabama, and Michigan. Whoa. <laughs> and the reason I do that is because Michigan lost to Y'all Michigan tweet. State. Yes. And we killed Michigan State. Okay. We lost to Michigan. So I don't think they can be top three. I don't think so. Alabama, dude, you know the committee, bro. You yeah. know the committee, how much they love Alabama specifically. What is SEC. SEC, and no, not even just the SEC. Alabama themselves, Nick Saban himself, they love them. So I really find it hard to either to to just putting them. If they don't, dude, I don't know. I just find it hard them being in the top four, not just even being out. Like yeah. if it were up to me, if they're not top, if they're not even top three, they, I'd prefer just kick them out because I don't think the uh, the committee would put them at four. I really don't see them putting them at four. And since he, I don't I mean. I, who who are they going against in their conference game? Uh, uh, since he's going against Houston, I believe. Yeah, dude, they're not losing. Yeah, uh, they're I not losing that game. I don't know. I think it's Houston. Don't count. Don't count out Houston. Yeah, it's Houston. Yeah, dude. All right, bro. Houston only has one loss. It's gonna be a good game. All right, since he's undefeated, bro. What's up? Hey, but Ohio State could make it in. Like realistically, no, stop. Ohio yeah, State bro, could nah, make nah, it in. Nah, nah. Stop. 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 Nah, hold on, stop. Jake. Jake. I mean, say also, Cincinnati bro. loses. Say Alabama gets killed. Oklahoma State loses. 
and Michigan loses. No, oh. we need Michigan to win. Oh, well, Michigan wins. We need, you we can need, make a case Ohio State belongs in there. We need all the losses that you said and Michigan to win. Because if Michigan loses, oh, yeah, then we're not look, even in. It makes us look better. If yeah, because right, yeah, right, you right, 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 right. Come on up. You're right. I know my so shit. So Michigan has to win. Cincinnati has to lose. Alabama has to lose. Oklahoma State has to lose. And they all and three. And then we're in. They all th- and they all three could possibly lose. I yeah, think, like Caesar said, when it comes out, they're going to favor Alabama over Ohio State with two losses a team. Not if they get killed by Georgia. Because Ohio State has two good losses. They have a, a ranked Oregon and a ranked Michigan, who's a top four yeah. team. Ohio State, I've been saying this, Ohio State will have the best chance against Georgia than any other team that could possibly number four. And I hope the four. committee knows that. Yeah. But everything has to go right for that to happen, yeah. obviously. So. And, dude, the chances of that happening is damn near I mean, this slim. Shouldn't, this shouldn't even happen if Ohio State just did their job on Saturday. Yeah. I, but I don't want to talk yeah. about it. But you can make the case Ohio State can't play a good team or doesn't show up in a big game, so you would never know. Because against true. Oregon, they lost. Michigan, they lost, which are both good teams. Which are as good as they hey, say. Only so. good team we played was Michigan State. We blew them out the water, but that's right. nah, bro. What's cra- dude? I don't even want to start with that Ohio State game, bro. We didn't. We didn't execute on the big plays. Y'all didn't even do predictions for that for the big game. What's up with y'all? Forgot. Nah, <laughs> see, that's what I'm saying, bro. That's crazy. If I was host, I wouldn't have forgotten. That's hey, crazy. guess what? Hey, y'all maybe, here. Should, maybe you shouldn't have missed episodes. Yeah, then. exactly. Y'all, y'all, you weren't here. I had other things to do. I'm sorry, bro. I have a whole bunch of other things on my plate because I have to take care of people like you who are missing episodes, so I have to pick All up right, my bro. slack. All right, bro. All right, bro. All right, bro. Calm down. Hey, calm down. I'm still third on missing, missing. The, hey, these two motherfuckers are number ones. No, definitely one and two. Tyrus. No, well, number one on missing pods, and then number two is Jeremiah. Then, 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 then there's me. Yeah. Then me. Yeah, me and Austin haven't missed a single one. Right. Yeah. Hey. Jake did leave early in one episode, though. Yeah. Ugh. Don't forget about that. I don't want to throw on a bro. <laughs> no excuses. Lock in. <laughs> yeah. You so tell nah. your, you tell your orthodontist I'll fix my teeth later. <laughs> I got a pod to do. Nah, hey, yeah. hey, if you know my TV fix, <laughs> if, if you know, you know. You know. <laughs> oh, Jake. Hey, they can all know. Hey, they can all know now. We're on, we're on YouTube now. Yo, what's up? <laughs> now nah, you got braces though. So, hey, Yo, what's up? by the time next year, he's like when, when we're established in a blown up podcast, he's gonna have perfect teeth, bro. He's gonna be with this gang. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Nah, but that's crazy. Ohio State's still getting in. So, nah, I'm, hey, I'm doing this right now. <laughs> Ohio State gets in and fuck, fuck, fuck Alabama. <laughs> Michigan's three and we're four. What's up? That's my final four. Dude, if I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm just. I hope, I hope Ohio State makes it. I mean, I mean, we don't bro, deserve we, it. Bro. It's not good, dude. Just get it out of your head. We're, we're there's a chance. chance. There's a chance. Committee. No, there's no please, shot. Please so put us if, in so I can that, go to the playoffs. If that scenario happens that we didn't say, that's not gonna, that's not gonna it's happen. Not gonna happen. That's the they're only They're gonna scenario. favor Alabama. They could still favor Alabama. We'd still get in. And they're going to favor Cincinnati because they only have one loss. We have two. Oh, but Cincinnati doesn't have a good win, though. I mean, they beat or- Notre Dame by one point. Yeah. Or not one point, no, one Cincinnati, score. Cincinnati, dude, you got to listen to this. Cincy can't have a, a loss. A single loss. Yeah, they can't. They can't. Their schedule's so weak. They only get one loss and they're out. They're, 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 We're definitely they're, better. Ohio State's a better team than Cincinnati. Yes. For sure. I mean, yeah, but uh, we we screwed ourselves, bro. We should have. We, know, we I know, could I have know. won that game. Bro, we get it. We get it. Stop being so negative against your own teams. God. There's no we hope. We got the jersey, bro. Bro, what's up? The luck of the five. This ain't the right player, but we call out everything. We got Stroud. Bro, we call everything Next year, we podcast. got Quinn Ewers, because on guy, you got to put in the mullet. Hey, no, hey, yeah. W- give, me hey. give me Stroud. Hey, W. Paul. Hey, Who do you want? Quinn we, Ewers or, or, or CJ Stroud? I'm not making that a point. Oh, Why, bro? Gonna bro of these Everybody's going to vote Stroud. Nah, bro, because I'm voting Quinn Ewers. You're the only one, bro. Nah, bro, because if the mullet was in, we would have won the big game. You literally have You have no Explanation of why you think that no yeah, CJ Stroud wasn't even the reason we lost 100% He played yeah, a he great game the, He played a good game Bro stop saying he had a great game He, he missed a, two he passes had, he, Okay, no, He did not miss two passes He missed Six to eight passes No he that did were key. not Yes bro, bro. Four, three of them Three of them were moving the chains Caesar, One I'm not was, gonna, a, was hey, a touchdown Caesar, pass I'm, I'm gonna be honest I'm not gonna Listen to you, because you were hate on this man earlier. Yeah, and I still and, am. What's and up? And now you love him. No, I don't. Now, dude, bro, he only bro, missed. Bro, bro, he went thirty. Bro, he went. Hey, he went thirty-four for forty-nine, three hundred ninety-four yards, two touchdowns. Thirty-four what? Thirty-four for forty-nine. He had. Yes, yeah, yes, more than eight passes that he missed. Bro, he had an eighty-three QBR. Like that's that's good enough. That's great, bro. Yeah. Expe- not, on a forty-nine on forty-nine passes, that's pretty good. That's good. That's, but a that's, lot, that's, a, that's a lot of passes. We needed him to be great. He almost threw 50 passes. He did play great. Nah, what's crazy? No, no, no. To be serious, though, to be serious is that, uh, in my opinion, 
Our so offensive line was at fault. They could not. Penalties, bro, they, too. Dude, yeah. the penalty. Oh, my God, okay, bro. Uh, okay, to be real, I mean, we weren't going to score a lot. It's our defense that had to step up because you still got you still got hey, Michigan's great defense. Our defense held us in that game for the first three quarters, 100%. Yeah, I don't care. Gave up. Nah, but that was crazy, bro. All right, bro, we're done. Don't even get me on that, bro. Yeah, we're done we're with that. We're done with that, bro. That shit pissed me off. But moving on OH. to Io. Yes, sir. Ski. To our favorite part of and the episodes. I favorite. The ending of the episodes. We got to end it the best way this possible, is which part, is Eddie. the weekly Pickums tally. Gang, 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 And this gang, is gang. crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm thirsty, guys. But what's crazy is after our absurd and, I don't know, not so calculated picks, we have a number one position right now that's only a game ahead. Out of a three-way tie for second place. And then we don't even got to talk about the last place because that that that's that's not gonna change. But coming in at first, Jake hey, Benline. Hey, hey, hey. Coming in at ben. 106 and 58. <laughs> a couple words for your for your fans with your great success, sir. How do you feel? Uh I feel great. Um I'm just I should be a great general manager. All right, well, moving well, on. Well, not general manager, but like <laughs> Hey, you have any uh, pick suggestions? Just get at me, bro. I got you. I'm, hey, I've been in first place since week one. Yeah, cool. All right, hey, moving on. Week 14. What's moving up? on. For a three-way tie being myself, your host, Caesar. No one cares. Austin going. and the gentleman himself that is not here as usual, Jeremiah Sloner, coming in at 105 and 59. A three-way tie. For second place, yeah, the dude who sits in the corner with the uh, laptop is in third, yeah. is in second place. That thinks he's <laughs> and that thinks he always looks good, but let's be honest, chat. Yeah. I mean, let's yeah. be honest, guys. You're Tweet count number three for you, Caesar. <laughs> Sorry, bro. But moving on to the fourth and last <laughs> place, stay. like usual, it's damn near a tradition now. Tyrus Sloan himself coming in at. 93 and 70. The one who talks the most but does the worst. <laughs> yeah, bro. Dude, oh, God. He's always questioning me. He's Steelers always saying, fans, he's bro. Always question, he, bro. He's always talking shit. He's always making sure. He's always making it seem that he knows the most, like putting the Steelers in playoff contention where he just got his ass whooped by the Bengals. Right. In last place, as usual. But let's start Typical Steelers fans, though. with the games. Uh, hey, just so you guys know, since Jeremiah and uh, Tyus are not here, I will be giving you guys Jeremiah's picks. And then, Austin, you will be doing Tyrus's picks. Correct me if I am Sorry, wrong. yes, sir. Okay, then. Perfect. Let me pull up the games right now. You know, we, Sorry, have to, boys. We, have to, we have to do extra stuff because, you know, our two people are here. We should probably just kick them off the podcast, yeah. honestly. Hey, let us know. DM us. Screenshot. Hey, screenshot and DM us. Jeremiah and, Sla- and, J- Jeremiah and Tyrus off the pod, question mark? Hey, maybe. Hey, I'm off the pod. I, I, I look if so, I, who do you want to be? Hey, who do you want to be hey, by? This podcast has been spilled with just us three, yeah? Yeah, yeah. we're chilling. Like, that's pretty good like pod. Bit, I had a yeah. lot more time of speaking. A lot more energy came out of me because I knew I was going to get more speaking time. Yeah, Sersky. Yeah, Sersky. All right. I thought we did good. I thought we did good today. We want to be host and uh, want to be. This is my podcast, so I talk the most. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. But moving on to. Hey, little did I know, he's the last edition. Right. Oh, God. But moving on to the first game of the week. The Cowboys versus the Saints. Thursday night football. 8.20 p.m. Jake. Dak attack. Okay. Yeah, I think the Cowboys pick it back up. Cowboys. Yep. I got the Cowboys as well. Caesar. Oh, hey, Saints. Caesar. Like, hey, Caesar, bro. Sorry. You said you're never picking the Cowboys ever again. What's, what happened to that, bro? Dude, it's the Saints, bro. Hey, Taysom Hill might be playing quarterback. <laughs> no, nah, he is. No, nah, no, nah, he is. Not Dude, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, Taysom They're Hill. down bad. The Swiss Army <laughs> knife, baby. Let's see what he can do, though. But you got Cowboys. I got Cowboys. He got Cowboys. Jeremiah has Cowboys as well. What does Tyrus have? Smart man. Tyrus has Cowboys. Cowboys. Oh, Cowboys. Full house. Moving on to the next game, Smart which man. is... Oh, hold on. Give me a sec. Sorry. Switching screens. The Colts versus the Texans. Ooh. Not good game anymore. Uh, Jake, who's your pick, bro? I Hey. Give me Michael Pittman Jr. and those Colts, baby. Yeah. Okay. I give... Oh, whoa. Whoa. Okay. I got the Colts as well. Sorry about that. Jeremiah has the Colts as well. Awesome. I yeah. have the Colts, and Tyrus also has the Colts. Okay, perfect. Moving on to the next game, which is Kirk Cousins and the Vikings going against Dan Campbell and the Lions. Ooh. Jake, who do you have? Uh, Give me Minnesota. Yeah. I have the Vikings as well. Yep. Uh, You know, I try to help in the Lions. I 
but I'm done this. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm I, done. I'll pick them sometimes just to say, hey, maybe they'll get it. I'm done. Nope. After yeah. Thursday, nope. Yeah. Nah. I'm done. Sorry. Yeah. Going so Vikings. And so is Tyrus. Tyrus is going Vikings, and so is Jeremiah going Vikings. Full house again. Maybe we can switch it up Damn, with. Why y'all try to copy me? Switch it up with the next game, which is the Giants versus the Dolphins. Jake, who do you have? I will take the Giants. Oh, I am taking Dolphins. I'm taking the Dolphins, and Tyrus is taking the Giants. Okay, hold on. Cause, okay, Jeremiah is taking the Giants as well. Hey, Finn up. Yeah, let's go. Moving on to the next game, which is Tom Brady against Matty Ice, the Falcons. Jake, who do you have? Give me the Buccaneers, baby. Yeah, I have Tom Brady as well. The go. Tampa Bay. Austin? I have the Buccaneers, and Tyrus also has the Buccaneers. Sadly, full house again. Jeremiah has the Bucks as well. Moving on to the next game, which is the Philadelphia Eagles fly Eagles fly against the New York Jets. Jake, who's your pick? Give me Jalen Hurts. Yeah, uh, give me the Eagles as well. Austin, Eagles, please win this game. I don't. You guys aren't that bad. <laughs> please win this game. And then uh, Tyrus also has the Eagles. Yeah, Jeremiah has the Eagles as well. God, can we get a switch up or something? We did. Hey, Dolphins. We did, but I I need some more. It's it's this is getting boring. All right, you pick them the same season. picks. All right, moving on to the next game, which is the Cardinals against the Bears. Jake, who's your team? Give me Kyler Murray, baby. I will take the Cardinals as well. I got the Cardinals. Tyrus has the Cardinals. Full house. Jeremiah man. has the Cardinals as well. Moving on to the next game, which is okay. probably America's game of the week. Maybe not. The Chargers against the Cincinnati Bengals. That definitely is a game of the week. Jake, who you got, bro? Yeah, earlier in the set of podcasts, I said I'll take the Bengals over the Chargers. But I was thinking about it. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Give me something different. <laughs> Give me something different. Give me... The Cincinnati Bengals still. Oh, you're weird. Nah, you're weird. I had to hype y'all up. You're weird. Give me Joe Burrow himself. <laughs> you know, Tyrus is funny. <laughs> <laughs> he got them dang chargers. <laughs> but I got the Cincinnati Bengals. And you already know the most biased. Who that? You know the most biased person himself. The person that owns nah, Ty- that, Ty- that Joe Burrow, the Joe Burrow jersey. Jeremiah has the Cincinnati Bengals and Joe himself. Moving on to the next game, which is... The Jaguars versus the Los Angeles Rams. Jake, who do you have? <laughs> the Rams. I have the Rams as well. I hope the Rams finally get their first one with Von Miller and Odell. So I got the Rams, and Tyrus also has the Rams. Maya has the Rams as well. Moving on to the next game, which is the Washington football team going to Las Vegas to play the Raiders. Jake, who's your team? <laughs> I'll go Washington football team. Oh, smart man, smart okay, man. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? I didn't pick them last week, so I'm gonna get them this week. I got the Raiders. Whoa, Austin. Hey, I, you know me. I've been supporting the football team, so hey, give me them. And Tyrus also got the football team. Jeremiah himself also has the Raiders. Wow. Moving on to the next game, which is. The Ravens and Lamar Jackson's with this Lamar Jackson with his four interceptions going down to Pittsburgh <laughs> to face medium Ben Jake. Who do you have for that game? Give me Baltimore. Oh, uh, okay, okay, yeah, dude, it's out for for the Steelers. I got the Ravens. I got the Ravens, and you know, Pitts boy himself, Tyrus got the Steelers. <laughs> Throwing up that terrible towel still. I don't know why. <laughs> Jeremiah has the Ravens as well. Moving on to the next game. My San Francisco 49ers against Russell Wilson and his Seahawks. Jake, who do you have, sir? Caesar. Yeah. I love you. You know that, right? Yeah. But give me those 49ers, baby. Yes, sir. I got the Niners. Yeah, baby. All right. Uh, Tyrus has the Niners. No Debo Samuel. I'm going the Seahawks. Damn, I don't like you no more. But I, I Jer- was thinking that too, bro. But like they played bad. The Seahawks are playing terrible. Yeah, I love the inter- interruption voice. But go ahead. You done? No, you want me to be done? Yeah, I want you to well, be done. I don't care about you. Tell me what's gonna happen without Debo Samuel. Huh? How, how how's the offense gonna run without Debo Samuel? Dude, we're gonna run that damn ball down their motherfucker. Jamal Adams, Adams isn't gonna let that. Hey, Bobby hey, Wagner isn't gonna let is that. Elijah yeah, Mitchell I, played? Huh? Elijah Mitchell playing? Yeah, he played uh, last game. Well, that's yeah, cool. Everybody's playing but Debo. It's just he's that, smooth. It's Debo. So. Nah, Fred Warner ain't playing either. He's out for one to two weeks. Both yep. of those players, Debo and Fred, are out for one to two weeks. But Maya has the 49ers as well. Moving on to the next game, which is 
Sunday Night Football, the Denver Broncos against Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. Jake, who do you have? Give me the baby goat. Okay. I got the Chiefs as well. Austin? Uh, I'm, I'm still going to go. I'm going to go Chiefs. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Tyrus got the Chiefs as well. Uh, Jeremiah has the Chiefs as well. All right, well, Monday Night Football. I think this is actually Monday uh, America's Game of the Week. This is an amazing Monday Night Football game. Right. It's probably the best one we've had so far. Yeah, and that is Josh Allen and the Bills going against Bill Belichick and his Patriots with Mac Jones oh, yeah. at the wheel. We betted on this earlier. Oh, Jake. We didn't bet, but like we were arguing about this a while back. Yeah, Jake, who do you got, bro? Who's, who's your pick for When I first hopped on the Patriots bandwagon and Damn. I said, they take this game. Uh, hey, hear me out. I said Buffalo winning division. Yeah. Uh, give me Patriots. Uh, okay, okay. All right, hold on. Who did the Bills play last week? Played the Saints on Thanksgiving, and they killed them. Okay, they killed them. But it's Bill motherfucking Belichick. I got the Patriots. Austin, who'd you got? I have the Patriots. And Tyrus has the Bills. Hey, the Patriots haven't let me down yet since I've been riding them, so. Tyrus ain't by himself. Maya has the Bills as well. Yeah, Maya's stupid. That's why they're they're both not here. Damn. (laughs) (laughs) Stupid people don't come. (laughs) No, what's crazy is because both of them... Nah, that there are stupid because both of them have been struggling. Yeah, Jeremiah just you know hit bullseye on one week. Yeah, he, who's not, able to he's about to lose a spot. Yeah, who he picked the who did he pick against the Dolphins? Who was it? Who was the Dolphins? Giants. Yeah, he picked the Giants. Like, I did too. Relax. Like, yeah, he's stupid. And he picked the Raiders yeah. against the football team. Like what? Oh yeah, I picked the. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I picked the Raiders too. So, calmate, hey, calmate. Hey, no. Nah. Hey, I think we did good this episode. I think Thursday. we did good. No, I'm not gonna lie. I was, I, I had fun. I think we. I, think I we, did. I was all over the place. I think I did smooth. Best podcast. No, I I like it. Hey, W Energy. W, w energy. energy. Yeah, hey, hey, go see what time. Go see what the time we at, Jake. How we gonna end this? Because I mean, I like, don't know. How, hey, hey, how would we end this, guys? Oh, hold on. Bro, bro needs to sign in. How are we gonna end it? Um, we're gonna end it by me talking about how good the Bengals are gonna be and how we're going to the Super Bowl. Super it's like, no. we had an hour and sixteen minute pod. Hey, that's pretty good for three people. Nah, hey. that's actually crazy. Hey, uh, I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Facts. Hey, Christmas is on the way. Make sure you tell. Yeah. Make sure you tell uh, your mom. I mean, make sure you tell Santa what you want. <laughs> make sure hey, yo, make we got sure, kids watching. Make sure you tell Santa what you want. Uh, go to the mall, meet him, sit on his lap, and, you know. Hey, all I got to say is go Let him know what you want. Go Cowboys, go Suns. Yep. Make sure you follow us. Uh, T- make sure you follow us on every platform. TikTok, TikTok bio. Instagram. Hey, make sure you guys subscribe because we're getting more views than our subscribers. Yeah, so, I mean, bro, so, I mean, some of you guys are watching without subscribing. Yeah, That's kind of weird. That's but weird. But we still support it, but it's kind of weird. Subscribe. <laughs> it really helps. It helps more than you know. Yeah. Like, it, nothing takes away from that, from you just pu- yeah, all you do pushing is a button. button and impressing post notifications. Yeah. We're here. Come on. We want to hit. We, our next goal is 100, so we can give away. Let's uh, go. <laughs> yeah, you want to give away, right? Yeah. Come and on. Then, and then we're going to hit 1,000 in 2022. So, hey, we're all really on yeah, the come what's up. What's up? Hey, oh, yeah. yeah well, how many, bro? 900 followers on Instagram? Oh, yeah. Thank you guys for 900 that is followers. Crazy. We love you guys. Hey. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the support. We love you. We appreciate you. Go, Bengals. Hey, this has been your starting five. <laughs>